Welcome to the ET335 to Morgan's Theory presentation. Okay, we're going to start with uh, Morgan's Theory presentation and we're going to go through the rules of Boolean algebra. So, Boolean rule one anything and with a zero is equal to zero. And Boolean rule number two, anything and with one is equal to itself. So these are very similar to our rules of uh, algebra. Boolean rule three, anything or with a zero is equal to itself. Boolean rule four, anything or with a one is equal to one. Boolean rule five, anything and with itself is equal to itself. Boolean rule six, anything or with itself is equal to itself. Okay, here are our bill, uh, Boolean laws which are very similar to our algebra laws. So the commutative law says that we could rearrange the variables. Okay, so A and B can be reversed, makes no difference whatsoever. To and the same thing with multiplication or AND gates. We could rearrange these and there's no difference. In the okay, here's our associative law. So we could rearrange the variables here um, and regroup them. So we have A plus quantity A plus C, excuse me, B plus C, and we could rearrange them. The same thing we could do that with multiplication. So we could arrange and regroup these with no change in the result. Okay, here's our distributive law that we can rearrange these. So here we're going to multiply A times B plus C and we could multiply that through A times B plus A times C and we get the same result. Okay, here's our De Morgan's theory. And it is the complement of a product is equal to the sum of the complements. So what it means is the complement of the multiplied is equal to the sum of the complements or the opposite. So what we're going to do here, simply speaking, is we're going to break the bar and change the sign. So we're going to split the bar and we're going to convert a multiplication to addition. So essentially what we start with is a NAND gate and what we're going to end up with a bubbled input OR gate. So break the bar, change the sign. So here we got uh, triples here and so we got A, B, and C inverted, break the bar, and we're going to end up with A bar plus B bar plus C bar. Okay, here's our second De Morgan's theory rule. The complement of the sum is equal to the product of the complement. So that means the complement of the added is equal to the multiplied of the complements, which means the opposite. So we have A plus B bar equals A bar times B. So we're going to split the bar, change the sign. So here we have A more, and we demorganize it to a bubbled input and. So the other way to do this is symbols. Change the symbol, push the bubbles. Okay, so we have and over here we're going to change the sign to a AND and we're going to push our bubbles from the front to the rear. Okay, and we could break up multiples. So we have A plus B plus C bar and we could break it up, break the bars, change the sign, A bar times B bar times C. Okay, here we have the Morgan's bubble pushing which I covered just a little bit. So we can move our bubbles on an inverter, no difference. Okay, same, same thing. So we could take a NAND. So we're going to change the sign by the symbol, excuse me, symbol, and push our bubbles. So we have change the sign, or, and we're going to take our bubble up front and move it to the back. 
a nor, okay, change the symbol, push our bubble. So our or is going to become an and, and we're going to push our bubbles to the back. Here's one of the reasons we use the Morgan simplification. So here we have our circuit original. We have two NANDs and a NOR. And let's just say that we only have ANDs. And we can go ahead and use the Morgan to change the symbols. Okay. So we want to go ahead and keep our NANDs and we're going to convert our NOR into an AND with bubbles inputs. Our bubbles are going to input to inverters cancel and we're going to end up with all AND gates. So back in the old days when we had gate arrays and things like that we only had certain gates to choose from. So we had to do this in order to make those devices work. Okay, here's a universal property of NAND gates. So we could convert our NAND into other types of gates. So first thing we did, as we learned on some of the other labs, is that if we tie the inputs together, we're going to get an inverter. So if we take a NAND and an inverter, our bubbles are going to cancel out and we're going to get an AND gate. Three NAND gates can become an OR gate. We go ahead and we essentially put bubbles on the NOR gate and then we do the Morgan to it and we can change the sign and push our bubbles, cancel them out and we're going to end up with an OR gate. And one additional universal property of NAND gate. So we could take four NAND gates and create an OR gate. So just before we convert this to a OR gate we put an inverter on there, and we're going to use a NOR gate. So the multi-level NAND gate, so all odd-numbered late uh, gate levels act as OR gates with a single input variable complement. All even-numbered gate levels act as AND gates. Okay, here we have the properties of NOR gates. So again, we tie the inputs to a NOR gate, and we're going to get an inverter. And if we take a NOR gate and put an inverter on the front, we're going to cancel the two bubbles, and we're going to end up with an OR gate. Three OR gates is an AND gate. So here we have inverters on, and we have essentially bubbled input NOR. So we're going to change a symbol to an AND, push our bubbles, and we're going to end up with a simple AND. And our last uh, NOR gate set, we have four NOR gates as a NAND gate. So here we created an AND. And we put a bubble on the end of it, it becomes a NAND. Okay, let's demonstrate some DeMorgan conversions here. So the first one here, let's go ahead and let's see if I get my pen to work. There we go. So let's break the bar. And that's going to get us, uh, break the bar, change the sign. So we're going to get A plus B plus C bar, bar, bar. And that is going to be an OR gate with three bubbled inputs. Okay, let's break the, let's go through and do the next one. Let's do this in two steps here. So let's break it here. So we're going to have A bar plus B plus C bar. And let's break this guy. So we're going to get A bar plus B bar times C bar. And they're separated. Okay, and that will be another OR. And it's going to have a bubbled A. And we're going to feed into that an AND gate with two bubbled inputs. And our last one, let's go ahead and break it here. And here, so we're going to have a bar plus B 
bar plus C bar plus D bar. And that's going to be a, a large NOR with bubbled inputs A, B, and C, and D. Good. Here we have the nice uh, clean answers, and it appears that we did pretty good. We did very well. Okay, here we have an example of bubble pushing. So we're going to go ahead, and the first one, what we're going to do is we have an and, so let's make the other symbol an or. So we're going to change the symbol, or. And we're going to push our bubbles, which are going to cancel out. And we're going to get this to plain old four. And here we're going to change the symbol, push our bubbles, and we're going to get unmanned. 